I got asked a really good question by a viewer recently and it's what lighters are good for high altitude because lots of lighters don't work at high altitude or at least don't work very well and lots of companies say their lighters will work at high altitude but often they won't so we're going to go through types of lighters and which would be best so you've got your standard petrol lighter here liquid fuel lighter obviously uses a flammable liquid inside that soaks into a wick to create a flame so lighters like Zippos and Imcos good because they have windproofing at high altitude there can be a lot of wind but obviously they're not immune to wind if it comes in at the right angle and it's strong enough they're still going to go out so that causes problems the advantage though at least of liquid fuel is most of it will burn even when it's quite cold that's an issue we're going to see of butane is that although you have lots of lighters advertised as you know high altitude butane lighters if it's too cold they're not going to really spark up at least with something like this it's going to light most of the time anyway um, regardless of the temperature however there's not going to be as much oxygen at high altitude as well which means your flames probably going to have issues with staying lit Obviously, a thing I need to point out as well is if you're trying to light something that's not inherently very flammable, uh, you're going to have a lot of issues at high altitude as well because lighters obviously can set something alight, but if the thing's not going to burn well, it's not going to burn. So, petrol lighters aren't bad for it. They've obviously, if you've got one with a good windshield, um, it's at least got a flammable material. And if you're lighting a cigarette or something, you can try and poke the cigarette pretty much into the end of the lighter where you've got the area to sort of light it and it's shielded. So next we have butane lighters. Now I would not even bother with a standard butane lighter like a clipper or a Bic, they're simply not going to work. Now jet lighters have a chance, but as I said, the issue is with butane is, butane is a gas, but once it's actually in a lighter where it's pressurised, it becomes a liquid. That's simply because it's, you know, held in capacity there, and you can see where it's a liquid. As soon as it hits actual air temperature, it evaporates. Now a problem with butane and a lot of other, you know, like physical gases is, or vapours, that they tend to um, basically not work very well when it's cold. And I don't know the exact science of it, but I guess it's because they need to hit air that's a certain temperature to actually turn into a gas rather than being a liquid as stored in the lighter. That once it's too cold, they're not actually going to dissipate properly. So, as saying, jet lighters are probably your best option simply because it's a very, very hot flame concentrated into a small area. But being said, as I have said, that high altitude, if you've got a lot of wind, that's at least good because jet lighters aren't blown out by the wind. Well, that one was, but... Alright, maybe that's a bad example of this lighter, but in theory jet lighters should be very wind resistant, most of mine are. But, so this is proving to be a bad example, but in general, jet lighters should be very wind resistant, so that's good at high altitude. However, You've got the butane problem, where it's being that, but you've got a concentrated flame. For ignition source, I don't actually know which is better in regards to piezoelectric or flint. I'd kind of say a flint wheel, because you've at least got something that's physically making sparks, and rather than relying on... This is one of the things I don't like for a lot of survival jet lighters, which I may have mentioned before. Most of them are piezoelectric, not actually um, a flint wheel where why that's better if it gets slightly damp there's risks with one of these if you want it in the survival scenario the piezoelectric can kind of short out and then you're not going to get any sparks from it whereas if you actually have a striking wheel sort of with a flint like on the Zippo or Imco and any sort of classic lighter you generally make quite a lot of sparks per strike so every time you strike it you're going to get a lot of um, sparks come off I should say for high altitude a Zippo would be good as well simply because it's got a very large striking wheel which means if you've got thick gloved um, you know, hands, thick gloved hands or it's really cold and your hands are going numb you can at least work the striking wheel. Now I've not read much about this and this is why I think it might be interesting but maybe electric lighters with that noise everybody hates on camera would actually be really practical for high altitude and the reason I'm thinking that is that because the plasma, um, this is going to work regardless of the altitude as far as I can tell because it's electrical circuitry, you press a button you know, makes an electrical circuit. 
So height shouldn't make a difference to this and cold shouldn't make a difference. I've seen videos of people using these in freezing cold snow and apparently these lighters are really good if you're actually in really cold conditions because they always light, you know, because they're not relying on the type of fuel that could freeze, you know, or not work properly because of the height. Also they're very wind resistant. See it keeps going regardless of the wind even if it's not working fully. Um, so as far as I can tell, these should work really well at high altitude, and I've not read anything that suggests otherwise, but I've not really read of anybody taking these along skiing or something, trying to light cigarettes and stuff at high altitude, so who knows. But if I had to bet on one, I'd actually say electric lighters would serve a really good purpose for high altitude. As I said, jet lighters are often advertised at it, and they'd certainly be better than normal butane lighters, but I think, in general, if you're not going to go on these, or tell you what you should do, take one of these, experiment, see if it works, if it doesn't have a good Zippo or something, or an Imco, and use that at high altitude as best you can. But obviously, as I said, no light is perfect, you're in a bit of a you know, bad situation, to be honest, if you're trying to use something at high altitude. You can always use a striking steel as well. Um, I mean, that's going to be pretty difficult to light a cigarette or something with a striking steel, but you can at least um, use it, you know, if you're setting up a campfire at high altitude or somewhere very windy. Because, as I said, for a lot of survival scenarios, you should always have a striking steel and then lighters as a separate thing. If your only fire source is a lighter, I think you're kind of doing something wrong. But anyway, that's my thoughts on what lighters would be best at high altitude. I'd say try an electric lighter, but have a petrol lighter as a backup.